Kapu, back to our election coverage. And when President Trump addressed his supporters and by extension the nation early this morning, he made several false claims. So tonight we wanted to know what Florida's Republican senators and our members of Congress thought about his statements. CBS 4's Ty Russell joins us live. So Ty, what'd you find out? Well, Lauren, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is coming to the president's defense on some of his concerns. However, he and Florida's two senators are not speaking about the lawsuit at an attempt to stop the counting of votes in several states. President Trump falsely claimed to have won several states. He accused Democrats of stealing the election and without evidence said there were secretly dumped ballots, all were flagged by Twitter. His campaign also wants the courts to halt the vote counting process in Michigan and Pennsylvania. The president tweeted in part, our lawyers have asked for meaningful access, but what good does that do? The damage has already been done to the integrity of our system. When you go from one, major, one candidate winning by so much, if then that flips to another candidate three days later, um, even if everything is on the level on that, that is not something that's going to inspire confidence. Governor Ron DeSantis says those states should change their laws to match Florida. Start counting mail-in ballots ahead of Election Day to avoid a backlog. But, but producing results in a timely and transparent fashion, that inspires confidence. What you're going to have now in some of these other states, it's a very opaque process. But he didn't say whether a vote count should stop or if they're breaking any law. Senator Marco Rubio tweeted Wednesday morning without mentioning President Trump, taking days to count legally cast votes is not fraud, and court challenges to votes cast after the legal voting deadline is not suppression. Senators Rubio and Rick Scott didn't respond to our multiple attempts to see if they support this push to stop counting legally cast votes. Why are we asking? Because South Florida is filled with families that left countries with disputed elections. In a statement, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz said in part, every vote must be counted. We cannot allow bullying or intimidation to deny even one voter from having their ballot counted. And I'm confident that when we do that and count all the votes, Americans will have elected a new president. And tonight we haven't seen any statements coming from Congressman Mario diaz Villard. And when it comes to Congressman Ted Deutsch, uh, we haven't seen any statements from him. However, he did retweet a tweet from Joe Biden just saying, keep the faith. We are live tonight in Doral. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.